talking about some news that we just got this morning from BTS. So basically, what's going on is that BTS is planning to perform in Saudi Arabia and for their Speak Yourself tour. I'm making eggs with spinach. You see it? Yeah. yeah. So BTS is planning on performing at a stadium in Saudi Arabia. And a lot of people had a lot of feelings. What's new? Welcome to the internet. If you guys don't know about Saudi Arabia, ran by kind of like a royal family type of thing, like a um, monarchy. For that, um, they just have a lot of issues with women and LGBT and, you know, just like their rights. And they've broken countless human rights violations according to the UN. So a lot of people are very upset about BTS performing there because they don't feel as though they should be supporting the crown prince and the country of Saudi Arabia. So a lot of people are of course feeling type of way. And this is what we've worked. People are not happy because um, Saudi Arabia has had a lot of problems with human rights violations. There's just been a really interesting response. And this is actually really interesting because last week Nicki Minaj was headlining a festival in Saudi Arabia. And K-pop wise, I did not know this until today, but Super Junior and Stray Kids were also performing in Saudi Arabia as well. And there are basically two camps of thought with this. One camp of thought is that BTS should not be supporting a government like Saudi Arabia. It's very awful and disgusting. I think that they do to their people, what they do to women, LGBTQ. And I can understand that because I am a woman and also LGBTQ. But a lot of people on the other side of the scope were saying, well, I mean, if BTS always focused on the government of a place, they wouldn't go anywhere. Like for example, in the United States, when they came to the US for their Speak Yourself tour, they don't come over here being like, oh my goodness, we love, we just love Donald Trump. Or like they don't go to the Philippines where they're extremely popular and be like, oh Duterte, I love you. Like no, like BTS isn't there for their government. But at the same time, I understand people being like, they shouldn't be supporting, like, they cared about like army they shouldn't be supporting the saudi arabian government it's just really like fucked up and stuff and i would have to partially agree you know the human rights violations are a huge concern but i think the thing that a lot of people are forgetting every country is pretty awful you know i mean some are worse than others but like i said like i noticed someone in the all k-pop thread was basically saying like well i mean you wouldn't be, you, like, if you were an army and you were in the United States, but BTS was like, you guys are holding migrant children at the border, you guys have an unfair justice system, you don't treat your minorities properly, then, and like, we're not coming. Like, how would you feel? You know, like, it's not about the government per se, but it's about, you know, BTS fans who have waited for so long for BTS to get there. Like, they're not there in honor of the crown prince. They're there in honor of army and to perform for them and basically do their jobs as musicians so i just really want to hear what you guys think um because i'm not i don't know anyone who practices islam or i don't really have a direct affiliation with that so i want to gain like new perspectives of course that's what it's all about you know what i mean like crackhead nation like we're crackheads but we're like woke like our third eye is like wait like looking for more, you know, being awakened every single day of our lives. Do you think it's appropriate that BTS perform in Saudi Arabia? Um, how did you guys feel when you found out that Super Junior and Stray Kids were performing in Saudi Arabia? And do you feel like, like, how should we go about musicians performing in countries that are like seemingly problematic or that aren't that great? Me personally, I mean, I didn't really think about this until someone brought it up on, on the our K-pop um, subreddit. But, like I'm saying, like, that's, you shouldn't be punishing your fans for something that the government, sorry, you shouldn't, keep focused. <laughs> you shouldn't be, you shouldn't
shouldn't be punishing the fans for something that they have no control over. I think that they should do it for their fans. That's my personal opinion. If you disagree, that's totally fine. Leave it in the comments. And that's, that's the that on that. Um, we can also talk about Nicki Minaj canceling, you know, because I think she accepted it. She was supposed to be performing at that festival that I believe Super Junior and Stray Kids performed at. So I just want to hear like your thoughts on that. And should artists be allowed to go where their fans are? Should they should they listen to the fans that are there? Or should they listen to the fans that are affected? And that's another thing. Because we can easily sit here and be like, oh, BTS shouldn't go to Saudi Arabia. But at the same time, like the other camp, the people that are like, BTS should go because they're supporting their fans that have waited for so long for them to, to go. Like, I would be excited, but also it's like, do I want to financially, do, should they financially support a government who is so awful? And this camp would be like, well, your government's awful too, so blah, blah, blah. But then this camp is like, yeah, my, co my country isn't cutting heads off of people, which America's been doing that for so long. Let's not pretend like America's like the wokest country ever. Like, it's not like, like, really really bad but like it's not great like so i just want to hear your guys thoughts on this even people who aren't american people who aren't like from saudi arabia i just want to hear your opinions and i really want to start a discussion because with the growth of k-pop and everything i think it's extremely important to understand kind of like what we're dealing with and have these discussions because they're extremely important to you know the global impact of our world like who would have thought a k-pop group like 10 years ago who would have thought that a K-pop group would be even performing in Saudi Arabia? Like, I think that's incredible, you know, from like a, a long time K-pop fan perspective. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and leave some discussion. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe the video because um, I'm always coming out with woke ass content. So, you guys have a wonderful, what day is it? <laughs> Hope you have a wonderful Sunday or Monday if you're from somewhere else and stick around. I'll be coming out with more videos that are K-pop related and BTS related. So hope you guys enjoy it and I will show you what my breakfast looks like at the end of the video. Mmm. Mmm, look at that yolk. Ooh. <laughs>